what is up everybody thank you so much for joining me this evening um, well, no matter what time of day it is there I'm glad you're here you're here to get some knowledge and that's what I'm here to give um, I apologize I haven't put out a video in a couple of days um, I have been kind of under the weather uh, if you've watched the previous videos when I've been outside you know it's been snowing and it it got to me so um, but here we are we're trying to get that content pushed out for you as many people are um, asking throughout the Facebook group and Twitter, Instagram, you know, hey, where's that content? So here's that content for you guys. Um, what we're going to be looking at today is something that we had to recently deal with. And I got to admit, guys, when we first had this issue, um, <laughs> we were freaking out. Um, we got a bad review, and it was a lady who said, so we're going to say the... Um, it was said that the product we sold was a product we didn't even have in inventory, supposedly. So um, this individual basically put us on blast saying we sold them a product that we never had in inventory. Um, it was also stated that we do not reply to emails. Um, first off, this is it was scary because a review like that, that can that can definitely damage your Amazon account, your Amazon standings, and if it goes too far, um, you know, Amazon themselves can drop that ban hammer, and that's definitely not what you want. It's not what you ever want, but it's definitely not what you want if you did nothing wrong. Um, in this case, we had replied to the email within 10 minutes of receiving it. Um, we had linked, hor uh, we had linked the order ID. Um, we had linked all the information, where the package was, um, we had linked the timestamps, letting this individual know that the product was shipped the same day that it was ordered. Uh, in fact, it was ordered around 8.30 in the morning and it was shipped around 9.05. So we merchant fulfill super, super quick and that's the only way to stay on top of it. But that's an entirely different video. Um, today we're going to be looking at how to get that feedback removed because we did get that feedback removed and if this is something you're scared of happening and you need to know how to kind of stay ahead of the game and make sure if it does happen wrongfully to you, you can get it removed. So I'm going to go ahead and go over it. What I'm going to do um, is I'm going to overlay the screen here so you're going to see the actual um, Amazon guidelines because everything I have here um, it is straight from Amazon. I want it to be um, direct from the source so you guys know it is legit. It is straight up with, you know, the knowledge you're getting is um, it's real and it's actually going to be something that's useful. So um, let's get into it. The first thing here, and I'm going to link this below for you guys, um, and the question in the forums here is, can Amazon remove buyer feedback? So let's go ahead and take a look here. Now it starts off by saying, as a general rule, Amazon does not remove buyer feedback, even if it is unwarranted or the issue has been resolved. So um, that part catches up a lot of people, the part about even if it is unwarranted. So in our case, it was unwarranted feedback, uh, and we did get it removed. Uh, we, did, we got it struck through, and Amazon made a comment saying, um, uh, this basically is an illegitimate feedback review and they struck through the comment so um, and we'll go through that I'll show you guys exactly how that happens um, but right here Amazon will remove feedback only in the following cases and that would be one the feedback includes words commonly understood to be obscene or profane uh, if a customer is swearing or using profanity on a feedback comment, then Amazon will remove that. Um, number two, the feedback includes seller-specific, personally identifiable information, including email addresses, full names, or telephone numbers. Um, this is CPNI, or um, personally identifiable information. Um, you cannot, this is why, if you did watch a video about how we do our shipping and I'll put a um, little card up on the top of your screen right now for that um, if you watch the video about how we do shipping you'll notice that we do mention how we hide all of the shipping labels um, so this is personally identifiable information that you cannot share with anybody 
because it is um, under confidentiality and you just you have to make sure that you are not sharing any customer information and the customer in turn has to make sure that your information is protected as a seller um, and Amazon does protect you on that as well so they will remove comments due to that um, third and lastly uh, the entire feedback comment is a product review so um, if somebody buys something from you and they leave a product review as a feedback on you so say they got a product absolutely hated it and they leave a bad review on the seller instead of leaving a bad product review uh, then they will also remove that for you as well and so those are the only three cases that amazon will actually fully remove and delete the, the feedback comment from your profile um, the other thing that Amazon does, and in our case, this is what happened with us. Amazon has a strike through policy. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and post this up here now as well. Um, Amazon will strike through feedback in the following cases. And there's two listed below. Uh, the entire feedback comment relates explicitly to fulfillment and service for an order fulfilled by Amazon. In addition to the strike through, the following statement will appear. The item was fulfilled by Amazon and we take responsibly, responsibility for this fulfillment experience. Um, so basically what that says, if you send a product in uh, to do under Amazon FBA, Amazon is fully fulfilling your order, they're processing everything and shipping it out to the customer and the customer leaves a bad review or bad feedback on your account as a seller, Amazon will put a strike through the comment and under the comment, they will make it publicly known that they take responsibility for the experience as this was a fulfilled by Amazon product, uh, and that's where the issue arose. So the second, and um, the, the one that we actually experienced and how we got our uh, comment struck through, is the entire comment was related to a delayed or undelivered order, which you shipped on time by using buy shipping services, I will link to that for you guys below. Buy shipping services is when you go to print a label and you print the label using their um, shipping services and you buy from Amazon Direct. So that's what it means by buy shipping services. And in addition to the strike through, the following statement will appear. The fulfillment issues associated with this order were not due to the seller. Uh, and that's what we got. We actually got a combination of the both, which is weird because it was a merchant fulfilled item. But regardless, we got that taken care of. So as always, guys, if you have any questions at all, that's why they have a comment section right down there. Go ahead and leave a comment for us, and we will try and get to you as soon as we possibly can. Um, our entire purpose here is to drop that knowledge on you 24-7. And... Maybe not 24-7. We need at least three hours of sleep at night, especially being sick and everything. But make sure to hit that subscribe button. If you liked this video, then hit that thumbs up as it uh, shows that YouTube algorithm that this is at least a somewhat decent video. As always, guys, go out there, get some great pics, make some money. Have an awesome night.